Welcome to Comedy Global. The battle for the post of Congress president has started and the final picture is very clear now. Mallikarjun Kharge and Shashi Tharoor are now the two candidates contesting for the post of Congress party chief. Kharge is the official candidate of the high command. This might lead Shashi Tharoor likely to become a rebel. Though 30th October was the last day to file the nomination, there is still time for Kharge and Taru to withdraw their papers from contesting against each other and reach a consensus. Kharge's nomination letter was signed by senior leaders including A.K. Antony. This alone is sufficient enough to prove the party's stand in the polls and the favoritism is crystal clear. Kharge said that he is contesting to bring about change and strengthen the party roots. Tarur says that his goal is the same. Anyway, Congress is now divided into two extreme polls. Will Kharge, a senior Congress parliamentarian and the leader of the opposition in the Rajya Sabha, be the president of the Congress, or Shashi Tarur, a member of the Lok Sabha who has proved his presence even in the UN Assembly, will win the race? To everyone's surprise, Dick Vijay Singh, who was one of the expected candidates to contest the polls, withdrew from the race for the post of Congress president at the last minute. This decision was in the wake of high command supporting Mallikarjun Kharge as its candidate in the polls. Kharge's nomination paper was signed by senior Congress leaders A.K. Antony, Dick Vijay Singh and Mukul Vasnik, proving authority and support of the frontline congressmen and high command. With this, the contest will now be between Kharge and Tarur. The time for submission of nomination papers ended at 3 p.m. on Friday. Suspense was rife till the last day as to who were contesting for the post of Congress president. In the first phase, the official side considered Rajasthan Chief Minister Ashok Gelot as a party chief. But under the one-person, one-post policy, no solution could be found to who would be the next Chief Minister of Rajasthan. Even when Shashi Tharoor went ahead with the decision to contest in the polls, it was not clear who the official party-backed candidate would be. Dick Vijay Singh came forward to contest just a day before filing the nominations. Sonia Gandhi met with Priyanka Gandhi at her home till late at night on Thursday and discussions were held. Many names were brought up for the possible candidature list like Mallikarjuna Kharge, Meera Kumar, Mukul Vasnik, Finally, it was decided that the leader of the opposition in the Rajya Sabha, Mallikarjuna Kharge, would contest. With this last-minute twist, Dig Vijay Singh withdrew from the competition. The stage is now set for a direct fight between Mallikarjuna Kharge and Shashi Tharoor for the post of Congress President. Kharge was the president of Karnataka PCC in 2005. He later became the leader of the opposition in Karnataka Legislative Assembly. He became the member of the Lok Sabha for the first time in 2009. Later, his area of operation was shifted to Delhi. He became the Minister of Labour in the UPA cabinet. He also held the additional charge of the Ministry of Railways. He won the 2014 Lok Sabha elections and became the leader of the Congress Legislative Party. He is proficient in Hindi, English, Kannada and Marathi, which will be a plus point for him. Former UN Under Secretary Shashi Tharoor, on the other hand, is a best-known author and a speaker. Since 2009, Shashi Tharoor has been a member of the Lok Sabha from Tiruvanthapuram. He also got the position of Union Minister of State twice. Being in the position of top leaders of G23, he often criticized the Congress leadership. Although Sonia Gandhi said that there will be no official candidate and anyone can contest, Kharge's paper has been signed by people close to the Gandhi family, including A.K. Antony. With this, Kharge gets the status of being the official candidate supported by the Gandhi family. The prominent leaders of Kerala have said that they will vote for those who are supported by the Gandhi family. Although Shashi Tharoor belongs to the revisionist group called G23, Shashi Tharoor had said that he did not seek the support of G23 leaders and was not contesting as a G23 candidate. Shashi Tharoor had prepared five sets of nomination papers with the signatures of 50 people from all parts of the country. Ten people, including M.K. Raghavan, K.C. Abu and Shabri Nathan, have signed from Kerala. Senior leaders have indicated that they will continue to try till the last minute to avoid the polls. Shashi Tharoor may be made a member of the working committee if he is ready to withdraw the paper voluntarily. And that would be the official offer to Shashi Tharoor. The only doubt is whether Tarur will accept it or not. 
If he loses the contest or if the high command forces Taru to withdraw the ticket, it's not even possible to predict what Taru's next move would be. Will he still remain in Congress or join a party of his choice or form a separate wing is all to be watched in near future. The final list of the contestant will be released on October 8th. Elections will be held on October 17th and the results would be announced on October 19th. This is Anjana signing off. Do like and share this video. For further updates, subscribe to Comedy Global.